In this video, we'll be showing how to disassemble and reassemble the seed and fertilizer tubes and related hardware on a tow behind hydraulic drive 1910 with a 6 run double shoot configuration. Stainless steel tubes and couplers from Armafa won't rust through like the originals. Here's some before and after pictures showing the original painted steel and stainless steel tubes, respectively. Be sure to check out our other videos where we show the complete disassembly and reassembly of the entire meter area with new Ramafa stainless steel components. You'll notice the original tubes still appear in pretty good condition on this cart. However, even from the outside, you can tell they're starting to show signs of significant rust. A few more seasons of handling fertilizer and these tubes won't be up to the job, and the rough rusty inside surfaces will already be causing more internal drag and reducing airflow. As shown briefly in our meter area disassembly video, we'll start with removing the seed and fertilizer tubes from the meter manifold. Remove the hose clamps, set aside the plastic end fitting, and lower the tubes away from the manifold. In some cases, the hose clamps will be rusted solid and need to be ground through in order to remove them. As this is the front tank, to remove the tubes, we'll first need to disconnect the hoses. For each hose, we'll loosen the hose clamp and pry the hose off partway, and then with a lot of twisting and pulling, we can get the hose disconnected. We'll need to repeat this process for each of the tubes. It is recommended to number the hoses with a marker to ensure they don't get mixed up. Once we have all the old tubes removed, we can start installing the new stainless steel tubes, starting with the upper run. Take care to keep them vertically aligned before tightening the hose clamp. And don't forget to use new stainless steel hose clamps during installation. You'll notice the upper tubes are shorter and bent differently than the lower tubes. Once they have all been installed, we can reconnect the hoses. First, spray fluid film lubricant inside the hose end and on the end of the tube, and then place a hose clamp on the hose and slide the end of the hose onto the tube. Finally, tighten the hose clamp and repeat the process for each of the hoses. In this next section, we will follow essentially the same steps, but instead for the runs between meter housing manifolds. Once again, the upper runs require shorter tubes than the lower runs due to the manifold design. After installing the tubes, we can then reinstall the meter pressure line that we removed earlier in the overhaul. These stainless steel tubes from Armafa will resist rust and corrosion and help keep the air seeder functional and looking great for years to come. In this section, we'll replace the hose couplers, which is where the air card hoses connect to the seating tool and provide an easy disconnection point. Loosen the hose clamps and then pry, twist, and pull the old couplers off. Install a new stainless steel hose clamp and spray fluid film lubricant inside the hose end and on the new coupler. Be sure to install the coupler in the proper direction, as shown. We recommend doing these one at a time to avoid mixing up any hoses. And don't forget to mark each new coupler with the number written on the old coupler to ensure your runs stay consistent on your seating tool. The other side of the coupler will need to be replaced on your seating tool in the same manner shown here. We'll also briefly mention the short 5.5 inch tubes that connect the double chute air plenum near the fan to the first meter housing manifold. As shown, these are also available in stainless steel from Ramafa, as well as those with angled or 90 degree 1 inch outlets. And with that, we'll conclude this video on the seed and fertilizer delivery tubes. Be sure to check out our other videos to complete your overhaul. We've tried to condense this video to provide a brief overview of what is involved and some tips along the way. It is not intended to be a replacement for the technical manuals. Expect what you watched in the last few minutes to take several hours to accomplish.